Oh, what was this? <laughs> um, uh, Nate, you have to fix that. Hmm? What happened? Oh yeah. <laughs> what is that? That's not. That's, I, that's I, not a thing. Okay. Yeah, I guess. I guess for today. It is. <laughs> I guess for today. Yeah. All right. Anyways, guys, hope you have been enjoying MSM so far. Yeah, we got winners finals coming up. Master Mario just pulling off the upset over Nico after demanding him to try hard. Yeah. It's like, damn, it's, I, I, I really wanted, wanted to prove to I could beat you with your main. I really wanted to see Falcon, though. I was like, after Nico lost the few games, I was thinking he would actually uh, go Falcon. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. It would be interesting to see, but you're here, no there. Yeah, Master Mario getting that upset pretty good, like, back there for there. He can get the double upset, though. That's what's uh, the real challenge here. Yeah, can he put himself in grand finals, potentially win the whole thing? Like, that'd be something crazy. Yeah, over to uh, Nico and Eon would be really good, too, because uh, those are, like, the two consistent players outside of Larry. It, it comes to, like, Globals, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And they, uh, Nitro, too. Yeah, those two are always, like, consistently, like, in the top three or top four of any event that they enter, especially in SoCal, so. But we'll have to see, because right now it looks like Eon, on his defense, these parries, he knows how Master Mario is trying to land with all these aerials, and he's parrying them all to get that easy punish afterwards. Yeah, it's like a thing that I see with all the characters he plays. He's just really solid when it comes to the parrying attacks. So like, if you want to fight him, if there's a character like Mario, falling on top of him with aerials is probably the last thing you want to do. He also, like I saw earlier in his match versus Sweet Tea, he was really good at getting like Arson up smash out. Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> getting Arson up smash out of shield. When like other characters might struggle like the punish that because it crosses up, Joker can like F up smash that. <laughs> I know some people said that, uh, like I think Dark Wizzy, for example, he said that it, without Arsene, his out of shield options are a little bit subpar, but he gets a couple more new options once Arsene is available. Get hit a lot more, so it makes you more hesitant to actually try up, cl up close pressure on this character. There it is right there. Uh, a lot of people get hit by that. Like they try to shield grab the back air from Mario, but then he can like either spot dodge or just cross you up, and then he just gets a free up smash a lot of times. Yeah. All right, gets this opportunity, gets another grab here. What's the idea going to be? Decides to go outwards, Masamaru can't follow it. Decides to come back. Gets the jab tech chase. Oh, does keep him at the ledge where he wants? Oh, man. Yeah, it's always scary when Masamaru goes off stage like that. I, it's either he gets a spike or he's like, put himself in a terrible spot. Yeah. But, yeah that's the type of player he is. He likes to take risks. Yeah, especially in Smash Bros. He was like the dunk master. He always went for it, like, every time I've seen him. Oh, you got to watch the DI in on the down throws. <laughs> That up air, very similar to Sheik's up air. You know, he can get crossed up, he can die very early, depending on if Arsene is available or not. It's about to run out on this meter right here, especially if he's going to get blown up a couple more times. Yep, the damage is gone. Now we're back to a relatively even game, all things considered. Yeah, he's, at this point, he has to worry about, like, oh, I was going to say back air and, like, a smash attack, but he caught the jump from ledge. That was a really good read from Eon, actually. Yeah, I mean, in disadvantage, usually at the ledge, either people roll or jump out of situations nowadays, so very good call out coming from Eon. Pick the right option there. Right now, nice. Doesn't get the up there, but I like that he's on point when it comes to his resets for the most part. It, I'm just really impressed with how far he's like, come with Joker in a pretty short amount of time. Yeah. Definitely a type of Joker player that likes to utilize like his mobility. For, it looks like more for defensive rather than offensive. Like you saw, he tried to use take aim to come back to the stage. Most of the time, I've seen people when they use uh, guns and bullets, they're usually trying to do an offstage game instead. Yeah. Eon's a little bit more reserved on that, it looks like, but he's still pulling off a nice show regardless. Got ledge again. Let's face him, let's get back a little bit, but he's positioning himself on the ledge. Nice. The back air. All right, how's he get back up? All right, just gets out of range to get up attack. I like that too. Waits out the aggressive option. Nothing that that's what Master Mario likes to prefer there. Gets oh. that back there. Oh, that's yeah, it? Yeah, he held uh, right there too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just did the classic of just like, I'm going to roll to the ledge, and if you neutral get up, I'm automatically behind you, so I get a free back throw. Like, right. Yeah, that's like, whenever you see someone do that, you just don't want to do a neutral get up because you know that they're going to like, they're gonna back throw you immediately. So mm -hmm. you might as well either wait it out or just, I'd rather just take the roll punish, honestly. Mm -hmm. See how. How are they punishing you for rolling in? Yeah. Man, if you if you look at the, the two people's shirts, you would think that Master is the bigger weeb between the <laughs> two of them. But it's actually Eon, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, Eon loves idle Master. Yeah.
takes pictures with the idols for his MSN. Oh, yeah. I hope he doesn't photos, win tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we well, that, 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 would, that would just mean that Larry, Larry would have to come back and potentially uh -huh. stop it. But the last yeah. couple of times, I think he's been unsuccessful with that. So, no, anyways. But, yeah, Larry's actually beating me on uh, two MSN finals the last two weeks. Okay, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. He's not going to come to this one, but like, he was like grinding a lot with uh, Scizor and Razo. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. so he's really tired. I mean, Razo's here, so. <laughs> yeah, uh, question <laughs> mark. <laughs> Any, well, he's not in winner's finals, so oh, that's another question mark. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> anyways, both of these anyway. two kind of just blowing each other up already. Both of these two already at 80% and still growing, actually. I like how Master Mario has like no chill even with uh, Joker having RC. He still has to try and take his opportunities rather than trying to camp the whole uh, time at yeah. his meter. I actually like that a lot. I know like a lot of things aren't super safe, but I prefer to just try to pressure him and get rid of the RC meter like that way, and then just trying to run away the whole time because he's fast enough to like corner you if you try to run away. And you can't necessarily camp him that well, but you can just like the, his projectile side is actually really good too. Mm -hmm. So. Anyway, yep. good stuff from Master Mario getting the first dodge. Yep, getting those spot dodge shenanigans and is able to cancel that into enough smash. One thing I would really like to see from a lot more people to uh, deal with Joker is like down gun. Is just see, we know he's going to do that. It, instead of staying directly under him, just position a back air to the side of him. Mm -hmm. and he can hit him out that way. Yeah. Cool. The way I like to think about it is like, remember Cloud's dare? It was like just a giant hitbox that was underneath him. Yeah. Well, if you navigate around there, he's kind of a sitting duck while he's uh, committed to take aim. So it takes him a little bit before he can cancel it, I believe. Yeah. Master Mario on the offense here. Yeah, that's safe for there. I'm surprised he goes for the combo throw instead of just throwing off stage and go for edge guard. Mm -hmm. I think the really important thing though for Mr. Master Mario is that even though that he goes for these aggressive options, that he hasn't been punished too hard for them. Like usually it's just Eon takes back positioning and maybe gets a straight hit or two, but never anything like a reversals into a full kill or anything like that. So he's picking his battles very wisely when he's deciding to go aggressive. Is he getting that back there into up smash? Eon just has to respect the up smash is so scary at this point. Yeah. I think he was hoping that it would poke at that point, but not quite yet. Honestly, I think Master Mario likes to do that. Oh, okay, good tech. I thought he was going to get jab up. Right. Oh, he went for a really aggressive fair off stage. Nice save the jump. Mm -hmm. Kept up his mix up timing so that he uh, couldn't get the free edge guard. Oh, oh both these gosh. two trying to find that punish. Oh my god. That was just so much <laughs> choking right there. Eon like, just fishing for the fair one up smash, and Master Mario just like, mashing up smash. Yeah. To be fair, because of spot dodge canceling, you kind of don't want to go for the like the, the standard options that you normally go for for punish. So you try to go something fancy instead to like mix up the timing on it. But neither of them quite took the bait on each other. Yeah, that was, that was interesting to see. But uh, Eon ended up getting that stock and uh, still a decent amount of RC meter to work with here. Oh, nice punch on that back air on shield actually. I don't see that many people punish that, especially the RC one. Yeah, I think it was, he was waiting for that because he just sat in shield the whole time. It's like, okay, finally I get the opportunity here to be able to take the stock. Even game so far. Let's see who can try and take out this next stock because it's either going to be Eon in a 2-0 lead. That's very significant in a best of five or bring it to a 1-1. Basically resets the situation. You can get a best of three at that point. Nice combos here from Master Mario extending them on the platforms. Gets the up finisher. Not going to be enough to kill, but that's a great amount of damage. And he pretty much like wasted half the meter of Arsene just by one combo. Yeah. That was really optimistic for him. I do like how in this game the mechanic is that if he gets hit, then the meter starts to go away. That way it encourages you to actually be a little bit more aggressive against uh, Joker when he has Arsene. Yeah. Okay, the fourth throw puts oh, him off. Yeehaw. Nice A, huh? Oh, nice. Elf smash. Barely living. Oh, trying to catch him with Dare. Didn't quite clip him either. Oh, and I like that. Uses take aim to give himself some space. Uh, like I said before, Eon likes to use it defensively rather than offensively. I've seen the Japanese players do, for example. Back throw? Oh, still living here. Yeah, but he's in a kind of a stuck situation. Ooh, Pick that was a sweet strong spot. hit, yeah. yeah. What's the option going to be here? Oh, it goes high and gets the throw? Up throw? Ah, the other way. Okay. All right, he's got the foot now. Arsene's here, though. If he gets to the stage, it's going to be pretty bad for Master Mario. Yeah. Oh, he tried looking for the throw, and the back yeah, air came out. Yeah, he was out. just a frame too slow with his throw. Mm -hmm to hit the back throw. That one definitely would have killed too. Yeah, I that, really that respect it from Master Mario because he had two options there. He could have either 
try to down smash and two frame the Arsene recovery because it's a little bit easier to two frame than most uh, recoveries in the game. Or he could have done the safer option, which was wait it out and pick a ledge option. He picked the safer option, just didn't quite cut it for him. So. Yeah, it's unfortunate. It, it just makes you wonder if in a different timeline, if he did do a down smash or angle down forward smash to two frame, would have hit instead, you know? Yeah, that's just uh, another thing that people have to uh, do more to abuse Joker's recovery. That's just a thing that's like one of his main weaknesses that still hasn't gotten completely ex exploited yet. Mm -hmm. With time though, Joker's yeah. still pretty new. Yeah, because the the distance is really good with Joker's, both the grappling hook and the RC and up B, but they're still very vulnerable. Like if you can put a hitbox into where you predict where Joker can be, then you can get a lot of free damage. Oh, oh whoa! Oh, damn. He didn't let him leave the corner of the stage. He just like completely dunked him into the blast zone. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly what he needed. Uh, he got the first like last game, but it wasn't as early as this percent. And now Master Mario being a space player he is. I see him completely running away with this right now. Oh, he's trying to go for it again, dude. Oh, he's yeah. still trying to go for it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't blame him. Even if he's not getting this spike, he's still keeping him in a really bad spot. Yeah, at the very minimum, he can get a Twitch clip. Put it, post it on Twitter, get some followers, you know. Get that clout. Anyways, here we go. I respect it. He decided to give him a little bit of space. Thought to himself, okay, he's got RC and he's got a little bit too many options here, so if I extend myself too far, then maybe I'm going to get a reversal, then lose my stock lead. He doesn't really want to give that up right now. No, he pretty much lapped him in percent already on this uh, second stock tier two. Yeah, and Arsene is completely gone too. Like, the meter is completely at zero, so that's a big positioning for Master Mario to try and take a three to one nice. stock lead just like that with the up smash. Yeah, and save pressure on the shield there from Eon. Going to be free punish for Master Mario, and now he has three stocks to one. Combo pair like Mario, it's like exactly what you want to deal with. Yeah, Arsene's gonna be available right about now. Yep, Persona. Nice, still getting another regard here, big damage. Is that it? Oh, dang, wow. He went straight off the top with a three I think stock. He, I think he di di'd in on those up airs to try and mix them up, so he went straight up, but Master Mario followed it correctly and he still was able to get the kill, so he kind of ended up killing himself sooner at the expense of trying to get out of the combo earlier. Yeah. So that was just good following from Master Mario and then a good attempt at a mix-up from Eon. So both ways, very good. Yeah, that's a good way to stay in the set, you know, getting three stock on your uh, favorite stage. I'm going to yeah. say it's his, I would say like Town and uh, PS2 are his two best stages as Mario. Mm -hmm. So winning on that, really good. Joker. And uh, yeah, I'm going to stay Joker here. I wonder if Eon, I, I know he just really likes the character, but I really wonder when he decides to switch between Fox and uh, Joker. Fox is, his Fox is definitely a little bit better than his Joker, but uh, I don't know if it's like match dependent or he's like he's really comfortable with the character yeah. or whatnot. Or just trying to build it up, of course, because this is at the local level, so yeah, a lot of things can be on people's minds, you know. But let's see. Yeah, let's see if uh, Master Mario can uh, force him off the Fox, or is Eon going to go into winning side grants with the Joker? Mm -hmm. I think this is uh, Eon's favorite song to play on the, all the Pokemon stages from what I've seen. Yeah, I don't hear it that much. I normally hear like the, I don't know, I think it's from Black and White. I actually don't know the name of the song either, but it's very nice. It slaps, as uh, as the young and folk say. Yeah, you can't, you can't talk to me about anything Pokemon related past Ruby and Sapphire. <laughs> the last ones I played. Dang. Jennifer was the best man though. <laughs> Anyways, here we go, coming back up. Wow, there, so <laughs> crunchy too. It's when you're in that situation at the corner where you want to keep him there, and you press one wrong move, like Joker just punches so hard with Arson there. Mm -hmm. it's so rough. Oh, he had an opportunity there. Decided to cancel on the shield. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah, guys, go for a punish in. Not quite, but we got the possible drag down. Not quite. Oh yeah, Eon's playing a lot more pressure now. Especially they have like a stock lead. Yep, knew he couldn't punch that back here on shield. Jumped away from it. And yeah, still slowly building up the percent, and he's almost got Arsene available again. So he can wait it out a bit. Ooh, Ooh. never mind. Nice punish on that. I thought like that slight, slight fall at the wall jump back here would kind of throw off his timing, but he had the punch ready. Yeah, I feel like half of the kills that both of these two have gotten is because they picked the good out of shield option, and they were able to get the kill out of it. Either a bear out of shield, up smash out of shield. Whatever works, man. Yes. You know, catching him DIN, try to get the Waveland re-grab on the platform. It would be really clean if he got it, but uh, that's more a little bit too quick to fall for that. But there's the back door really far off stage now. Right, yeah, Ian uh, really just prefers to stay on the stage instead of going for like the gun edge guards, mm -hmm. which uh, surprised to see. Yeah, this is a uh, play style preference, so this is the same as uh, you know Sonic and Smash 4. You know, you can choose to play him aggressively like Supergirl Kells did or 
Because I think that's a sign of a really good character, you know? Like, yeah. if you can choose how to play them in different play styles, you don't have to cater to one specific kind, and you can still pull results with them. Yeah, it's true. Very versatile character. It's part of why he's uh, doing so well right now. Yeah. But uh, Last Mario kind of stole that stock. Mm -hmm. He was in a really good spot, but there's the back air. Had a really good lead, but now it's uh, last stock. 1-1, one, 0% one, for both players. Both of you guys have been playing really well. But uh, their, the first stock low percent combo has just been showing. Uh, whoever gets that has just been really being able to pull it really far. Right think, now it looks like a Eon. I feel like in this stage in particular, just like the flat plane, it allows Joker to get those low floor combos instead. Whereas Mario really likes to try to do platform extensions and like try to take them off the top. Mario can't really do that here unless he gets some kind of situational thing off those platforms. But Eon's been doing a good job keeping center stage and just make sure that he keeps things going. Yeah, and then he just DIs away from the platforms whenever an opportunity presents itself for Master Mario. Yeah, it's really smart for him to avoid uh, taking extra damage. He doesn't need to. All right. Oh, Ooh, but there we go. Now he's got an opportunity. Oh, he got a reverse up there too. That was so good. Yeah. Still not enough though to take the stock. Stage though. Gonna get up the ledge. Ooh. Oh man, it's so hard to punish on shield. Max range. There's the up smash though, doesn't let him get the down air. Now Arson's gone. It's probably the best position for Master Mario right now. Oh, he oh, got the shield poke. <laughs> oh my god. I thought he was gonna go for up smash, but he just saw the head opportunity there on the shield and decided to go for it. Oh, sweet deep on stage. Not gonna get the better he wants. In a good spot though. He can really pressure Eon here. Yeah, again, using downward gun to defensively oh, come goodness. back to stage. Oh, what's he gonna do here? Why he holds he it down. Oh my god, why, and he goes for a second one. <laughs> Why did he respect that up smash on shield like that? Yeah, straight up though. The whole, what? the whole point of that was because he knew if he didn't parry it, he wouldn't get punished. So his shield was like guaranteed to get shield poked there if he went for a grab. And he just up smashed again because he has no shield to block. There, the play might have been to just uh, Rebels guard the last part of it. like. Let him charge it a little bit, and then just Rebels guard the last part, so you're guaranteed to block it. Yeah. But, damn. Oh, damn, we're uh, switching off to the Fox, finally. Anyway, yeah, Fox is here. I was really wondering uh, if he's going to force him off the Joker and get him into the Fox. Let's see how it works out here. Eon has a lot of practice in this matchup. Pretty much everyone in SoCal uh, has practice in this matchup when it comes to uh, Mario. But, uh... Same thing for Master Mario. There used to be a time when there were like four really good Fox mains in SoCal. And uh, I really don't feel like the matchup has changed that much in comparison to Smash 4 and Ultimate. Yeah. I feel like the the, stre the strengths and weaknesses of the character just kind of got more polarized. You know, minus the fair foot still, you know? So it just depends on if like that was your kind of play style. Like you like to take those big bricks and if not, then you kind of switched off to something else. Like, for example, Charlie did. I think he liked to take big risks and then try to reconcile for them later. But then Eon doesn't have to build up his lead. These guys are going back and forth. It's actually a lot more even than I expected. Just because I haven't really seen Master Mario go up against Eon. Eon definitely like the higher ranked player, but as far as these matches go, it's been really close between them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. Okay, just goes for the combo finisher there. Big combo here. Doesn't get the next stage he's looking for, but okay, gets the throw off stage. Boys, the flood gets to the platform and gets to the back there. Nice movement there from Eon. Oh, gets caught a little bit, but continue the stream with the downer dash attack up air. Oh, nice hit confirm. Caught the narrow smash right when he needed it. It only had three. Decent. He's not gonna die to say anything crazy right now. Nice attack handles from the down tilt to the back air. So clean from Fox at low percent. Already got 50% from that stream. Alright, we got the breakdance. What is it? Oh, I think he accidentally grabbed the ledge. I think he wanted to run off fair. But he didn't pull out the hitbox uh, quick enough, so then he decided to go for or the character, Mario, decided to go for ledge instead. Unfortunate, uh unfortunate misinput there, I think. Alright, yeah. Waiting out his falling attack from the air. Doesn't want to fall to an up smash. I like what Eon's doing. He's just doing empty double jumps to apply pressure to Master Mario and make him hesitant to really try to do anything because he gets so much off of it. But at the same time, that prevents Master Mario from trying to start aggression and then finally closing out the stock to potentially surmise a comeback. Yep. Oh man, he makes it up at the ledge. Wow. No. <laughs> yeah, no kill from that. Still big lead from Eon. Yeah. 
totally mangled him there. Like, I don't think anyone was expecting that. Probably just expecting him to go straight for ledge. Yep. Yeah. At this point, Dion. Dion can kind of throw kill moves. Okay. But, uh, yeah, he's, he can still, like, safely throw out these kill moves and not really have to worry about much. But, of course, Mario's combo game on Fox is really devastating at low percent. And Master Mario's really on point. So he can't really give him a free opening. Yeah. Like, one good opening, he could potentially combo into, like, 70%, and then potentially get a forward smash or something. But we'll just have to see. Oh, uh, there it is. Yeah, the up smash out of shield. Respect the attempt at the cross-up, but that just covers so much range. So. Yeah. Fox is one of the few characters that can actually punish that pretty